Hi everyone, it's Melissa Adriana coming at you with another YouTube video. I'm going to attempt to do the Gemini woman. I'm scared of y'all. I'm not going to lie. I am scared, terrified, like I hope I do you proud, but I'm scared. Well, you better be warned because once you get into her web, trust me, it's going to be hard to get out. So the Gemini woman, she's that quick-witted, mysterious woman you see walking through the room. The room is full of people, but she walks in and everybody just turns, especially the men. And they just want to feel like they just feel like they have to know who she is. Like there's a pull, you know, she's just that mysterious um, and has that air about her. You just want to know who so she is. So I just want to get right into like some of the positives about her. Um, this woman is hilarious. Uh, I've had like full blown stomach pains because of how my Gemini girlfriends have made me laugh so hard. I was in literally pain and I don't have that. I've never had that with any other friend. Um, but she has a way with words and it's funny because it's like almost like her timing is impeccable. The joke just comes like, and she's quick. It's like, normally you would think that some people would have to have time to formulate something like that, but she's, she's quick. She's quick and she's hilarious. Um, this is actually one of her best, best traits. It's actually part of why she's so charming. Um, she has this way of pulling you in with her wit. No and one can escape it, I'll tell you. Um, no one. Uh, she has a way of pulling people in like no other zodiac sign. And it it works every time. And always to her advantage, trust me. She's always calculating and forming something in her head. But she knows this works for her and she definitely uses it. And honestly, it's a best freaking, it's the best thing to have in a personality. Like when you can make somebody laugh, you, you can get anything. This woman is a money maker. Okay. Uh, she's very blessed in this. Um, whether it's something that's being gifted to her because she'll find in her life that people always want to give her things, especially men. She has a way of men making men spend money on her easily without any effort, but she is a go-getter. This is not a woman you're going to find lazing around on the couch waiting for her time to come. This is a woman who goes out and gets her, her own thing, and I, in my past, have known um, a lot of girlfriends who are Geminis, and they were like the first ones like in their early 20s, like 21, 22, to have their own house, like... They are achievers. She always has a way of bringing money into her life. Um, I find too with these women, they could have a really good career and they still want to do things on the side. And anything they they take on is like an instant success. It's not even like a thing where she's trying things and then they're failing. No, anything she touches turns to profit. Uh, she, her money is, her money and her career are like the most stable things that she has in her life. Like it's a given. Um, these women, like I said, are like money makers and they're driven, like very extremely driven. With that being said, she's definitely going to be looking for that in a partner. Like this is not a woman you're going to find being with a broke ass. It's not going to happen. Uh, she wants a guy to have her own, his own and she will definitely bring her stuff to the table too, but like she's looking for a well-established guy who is something in society. Uh, you, you, I'm not saying that in like a snobby way. Uh, it's actually a good thing to have because you would. It's good to have that in a partner. But like I said, like she's not going to be with a guy that she has to support. It's it's not her nature. One at thing all. I really admire about Gemini women is um, I find they're always very concerned with their health. These are women who are like when they have kids, they're not gonna let themselves go. Um, they are like fitness freaks, like, and they're really good at like um, keeping their bodies like fit. Um, they usually actually they they love to be active. They usually will 
I find like majority um, sometimes like they will have even careers based on health things. Like I don't know whether it's like, you know, they're a trainer or they're into like uh, healthy foods or they're creating something that's like, you know, a healthy, like, I don't know, a smoothie pack or something like that. I've seen that before where this one girl, she came out with a whole line of um, powders, like health product products or whatever. But these are women who are really like driven, like with their body, like they they don't let themselves go. So I just want to get into the love life um, of a Gemini woman. Um, just like the Sagittarius woman, she's not going to go for that um, stable, predictable guy. She does like, I want to say like the bad boys and the guys who keep you on your toes, just as she is like that. She is very much like that. You will never know where you stand with a Gemini woman. I don't care if you're a friend, a family member, or she's your girlfriend. Uh, she will keep you on your toes and she very much wants that uh, in a partner as well. So that stable, predictable guy is not going to cut it for her. And this is where it kind of leads to problems um, in the sense that like her love life is not old. And touching on, you know, the fact that, you know, you never know where you stand with her. I feel like this is a quality that is hard for others when dealing with her. Very much like the Aquarius woman, she's very detached. Um, and I feel like, do not take this the wrong way, but I feel like she can turn on you in a matter of seconds. You could be like laughing it up you know, joking, and then the next day walk by her and she'll pretend like she doesn't even know you. And I feel like this is very much air element related because I also have a moon in Libra and sometimes I can do this to people. So I don't feel like it's like, you know, I'm not trying to bash a Gemini woman. I feel like this is very much air element related, but you never know where you stand with her. You just Things don't. Things I've also found too is that you, she's not really that type of girl that you can get really deep with. She has a surfaceness about her, like with everything she does, it's like a light fluffiness, like I can't explain it. The only way I could explain, explain it is that I find when I've tried to get deep, like into deep conversations with Gemini women, um, you will start to notice like their attention starts flittering. They're, that's not really their spiel. Um, deepness, like they like to keep things very light. Um, and this is also something that I feel could be air related. I would be very, very careful with that. Whereas the Sagittarius woman will be quick to forgive and move on, the Gemini women, woman, not so much. When you get into an argument with her, uh, you potentially will be cut off. Um, there's not sometimes, there's no coming back from it sometimes. Um, I've experienced that in my life with Gemini girlfriends. Um, but yeah, there she has a cutoff mentality just like the Taurus woman would uh maybe this is why they're so close together in this zodiac but yeah you have to be uh careful with what you say and know that once you get to that point it's best to just leave her alone and let her come to you but I'll tell you that's not gonna happen so I would keep it very light and surface with her. Um, don't get into, you know, emotions or, you know, your feelings. Or she is an air sign and air signs are always coming and going. And this is very much why you never know where you stand with them. They're not the people that are going to get attached. I don't care if you're her mother, your br her brother, uh... If it's your, her girlfriend, if it's her freaking husband, she will cut you in a matter of seconds if she doesn't feel comfortable with you or if you've said something to piss her this off. This is also why you cannot have this woman on a schedule. This is the hardest woman to get. I don't care what anybody says. This is not a woman that's going to be like, you know, being able to put her on a schedule. She will take weeks to respond to your texts. She will not answer your phone calls. Uh, she will dilly dally around all your dates that you ask. Oh, can we go out? No, she'll see. We'll, we'll see. You know, this is not a woman that is easily easy to get. Um, I don't care what anyone says. This is just my opinion. Um, but this is a woman who's very hard to get and she will keep you guessing. And this will be part of the web I was talking about in the beginning where you're so intrigued and you want to get in, but trust me, getting out 
will be a big, big problem for you. Um, part with that too is that, you know, if you've done something to her, trust me, it'll be you begging her back. She's not going to be that one to call you up and apologize or meet you halfway. It's going to be all you. And lucky if you and you lucky you if you actually get her back, um, that will say something. Actually, that will be the, the sign in itself to see, you know, how she feels about you. But most of the time, she, this woman doesn't play. So I'm going to wrap this video up, but I just want to leave by saying that, you know, there's a lot of things that I admire about a Gemini woman. Uh, you know, her drive, like her career is like always at the top. She does well in career. And that's something that we all have to like really look up to. I don't know what she does or what her secret is, but she's amazing in that sense. And, you know, like her humor and her wit and her charm. That's a very good attribute to have in life. Um, it actually helps her a lot in getting what she achieves. Um, but yeah, she's a great girl. It's just, there's a few things, you know, I said, I hope I didn't offend anybody in this video, but um, they are things I had to point out. So uh, with wrapping that up, um, I would love to know from the Gemini women out there if I did well or if I, even if I did not, I welcome all comments. I'm not one of these YouTubers who are afraid of negative comments. Uh, and please leave in the comment section who I should do next. I really wanted to get Sagittarius and Gemini out of the way, but you know, I'm kind of on the fence of who I should do next. So I would love to hear from you all, you all like who you would love, like what sign you would love for me to do next. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe and let me know if, you know, this is something you want to see more of. Um, but if anything, have a great day.